Montreal. And you have the flu, so you can't really take pills because you're going to vomit them up anyway. I'm, I'm throwing up. So I'm now you're feeling double horrible. rationing. My, my throat's killing me. I could barely swallow. So I go downstairs. There's a clinic downstairs at the hotel. I went downstairs, and he looked at me. He says, you got strep throat. Ugh. Here's antibiotics. You'll feel better in 24 hours. So he gave me an antibiotic, and I did feel better in 24, 24 hours. Yeah. He said, you'll feel better. Sac bleu. Yeah. He, um, that's good French. Oui, je parle français. You speak French, Jay? Tu uh, travailles à Montréal, uh, Montréal avec les habitants, oui? See, I can't even. I, can't. I could say the Expos. I could say Andre Dawson. The hawk. That's Tim what Raines. I say. The hawk. The hawk. The what, hawk. what a cannon. I say Mark Rizzolanic and F.P. Santangelo. Uh, in Borderline player, fourth outfielder. Enjoy it. Grizzolanic had a good long career. He did. F.P. Santangelo, I think, is an announcer somewhere, right? He now. is. Uh, you're better after your antibiotics. I'm better. And I, like 100%. You know, as I went from 85% to 100% the next day. I mean, it, it, this guy, and I was there for like three or four days in Montreal. Feeling great, off the Lexapro. I stopped taking the Lexapro. I was feeling that good. And that's the only drug you were taking at the that time? That was the only drug I was taking. Prescribed drug, yeah. I mean, I take uh, cholesterol medication. Yeah, yeah. And I felt great. Flew back to L.A. and... um feeling good and then I, I saw a couple friends and it was like they're saying like Brody what's with you are you on cocaine or something I go no I'm feeling good I'm, I'm, I went to Montreal I went to Ireland I rocked it I'm growing I'm, I'm taking a victory lap so they're like a little put off by my upped out of character if you manic. will manic I was going manic slowly now do your friends asking you that do you go home and say why are my friends asking me that or are you manic enough where you're like what? like it doesn't even process it made me angry like you're not with me i mean i'm i, I went to montreal did great nobody said anything yeah i i i uh I, meanwhile there's a look in your eyes it's like talking to a fucking timber wolf and you don't realize that right because you're the timber wolf i'm the timber wolf from minnesota that's, that's the name of your new album the timber wolf brody stevens i am the timber wolf so I came back and a couple of people thought I was not being myself and that kind of like lit a fire under me. And then after that, like a day or two after that, I hosted TMZ. I, I'm getting the, the timeline confused a That's little okay. bit. That's okay. But I hosted TMZ. I knocked it out of the park. They were putting me on TMZ like each week and then they asked me if I wanted to host it. Harvey was out of town. Selena Gomez, gaining weight, not good in the dress, matchy matchy. I was doing stuff like that, exactly. Justin Bieber, why is he doing that? And I was myself, so I kind of like right. did that, knocked it out of the park, and that gave me like ultimate confidence. Like, I'm doing TMZ, um, I've got this HBO that show. Fed, and that feeds the mania. That fed the mania. And then also knowing that I had the HBO show, which they bought. They bought, they liked the pilot, and they ordered uh, six 15-minute episodes. So I knew I had that. I knew I did TMZ. I was already in Hangover 2, which just came out recently. Went to Ireland, went to Montreal, having all these good things. And then being off the meds, I was just like spiraling up. So when I did the TMZ, I felt like, you know what? I could go on Twitter and say, you know, F you to a couple people who were like dicks to me in the I, past. Brody, I've done that exact thing. Oh, it's, you have? Yes. Doesn't end well. No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't end well. And then then people get upset that you said it on Twitter. I'm like, well, if I could get the guy on the phone, I wouldn't have said it on Twitter. Yeah. I went, I mean, I, I'm I laughing went. at my own jokes to sell them more. <laughs> I went after it's the like, Gabriel Jim. Iglesias approach. I went after <laughs> Fluffy. Big Fluffy. I went after Jim Gaffigan. I went after Jeff Ross. Why? Because he would call me the murderer, like uh, the murderer, like. Uh, in a, not look, in a bad way, yeah. Because I guess I looked like a murderer, and I said something to the gaff again. But I sent, I actually, I sent him a direct message, something nice or whatever, and he like sent me a question mark back, like not in a good way. And then I went on there. I rip. I went after Jared Weaver of the Angels. I was friends with him. Should have went after Jeff. He stunk. Jeff's a good guy. He may be a good guy, but he stole money for ten years, and I would like to steal money for one. For one year, steal money. The Jeff Weaver money? Yeah. You out of your fucking mind? That prick made $6 million a year to have an ERA that looked like the fucking NASDAQ. All right. You know, you have to say like Colin Quinn to make it funny. You know? It's funny. I, just because I'm not laughing doesn't mean it's not funny. 
somebody's laughing. I'm not a big laugher. I'm not that smart when it comes to like laughing at comedy. Let's talk about Brody Stevens. Okay, Having, back to I want to get to you freaking out and getting arrested. So I got detained. Ooh, that's that's what we call a teaser in the business. You're tweeting the shit out of everybody. Yes. And telling them, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you. And then I got Zach. Zach knows the real me. HBO knows the real me. And there's a laundry list of people that you're saying, I don't need you. Get out of my life. Because Zach, HBO, and there's a couple other things. Comedy Store, 1 a.m. spots. They know what's up. The people. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. I was doing that sort of thing. And while you're doing it, your comments, you know, your at mention page. Yeah. You have to be getting an onslaught of people going, bro, what are you doing? But people liked it. They thought it was an act. Oh. But I was getting texts and phone calls from people worried about me, from friends. And I was saying, I feel fine. I'm doing great. I'm on a victory lap. Things are going great. This is the new Brody. And they were all worried about me. And then I mentioned I had a gun on Twitter. Do you? No. Oh. And I didn't have a gun. And I had no, no, uh, I didn't want to get a gun. I didn't have a gun. But I said that kind of because people were like freaked out. And like calling me all weirded out. And it's like. Leave me alone. I've got a gun. Back off. That's kind of what. The, and then once I said gun, that really put up the red flags. You can't. You can't say that. You really must have been batshit crazy behaving. Yeah. You know what? I think I can say that like a person. You must have really been behaving like someone who's batshit. Yeah. And I, I would go into Starbucks, and now this is probably like your Starbucks where you go all the time. Yeah. Where everybody knows your name. I'd go in there. What's your order? Uh, just, I, get, I get a venti iced, iced venti coffee, sweetened man, with man, a little half and half. Sweetened? I like mm -hmm. it sweetened. Mm, Manneristic wet. I like it unsweetened. You do? You, you add Splenda? You're, no, black, straight up, rocket fuel. And I put a shot of espresso in it, too. Oh, wow. Because I like to have diarrhea my entire life. You go to Starbucks. And... I was just being loud in there. I was just being like out of, you know, if somebody didn't look at me properly, say, I'm in the hangover. I host TMZ. What are you looking at? Stuff like that. I was manic. Manic. And not well. Not well. But I didn't know it. Well, no, that's why it's a mental illness. But I went, I remember, I'm off my meds. Cold yes. turkey. Yeah. You're not supposed to go cold turkey off your meds. And I'm on an antibiotic. I don't think that has a lot to do with it, but okay. Like, that tetracycling made me nuts. Well, I mean, that... Laugh that, at uh, something so they don't think I'm a dick. You're, no, you're not a dick. Go like this. This is fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's all I need. I can laugh. I mean, we're No, I don't want you to fake it. I'll learn it. So, you're off your meds, you have mania, and it seems to be feeding itself with the people asking you if you're okay makes the mania anger with mania. Yes. And now you've taken it inside your home... Your home ballpark, your Starbucks, and now you don't like the way human beings are interacting with you in the real world. Yeah. Then I went to another Starbucks. To see if they would look at you properly? Yeah, I went in there, and I remember I saw the guy. I, was, I ordered my drink, and I was waiting, and the guy had, like, the same kind of shoes as I had, and he had, a, and he had a Dodger hat on. I had a Dodger shirt. And I go, hey, we got the same kind of shoes. That's cool. And he was on, he had like, he was on his phone and a laptop. And I go... Got the same kind of shoes. That's cool. Oh, you're a Dodger fan? So am I. And he goes, uh, I'm talking. Excuse me. I go, what? Why are you? I'm being nice to you. Why are you being a jerk? This guy's a jerk. I yelled it out in the Starbucks. I'm a nice guy. This guy's a jerk. And then he like complained to the barista. Like, this guy's, uh, you know, yelling at me. And That's I go, where I go whenever I have a problem. The real authority figure is a barista. The barista. Cops, Coast Guard. No. Fine. If you're on vacation... And some shit breaks out, you find yourself a barista. They they will handle that shit. If your wallet gets stolen in Amsterdam, barista. barista. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Fuck FEMA. <laughs> Good one, Matty boy. Fuck FEMA. Get yourself a barista. And the barista called the cops, and I knew I... The cops were sent to my house a day before, the night before. Well, you left that out. Yeah. They, my friends sent the cops because I was acting weird, and they sent the cops to my house. And this is probably all because of the gun tweet, too. Yeah, if you didn't I, tweet the word gun, I don't think cops would be at your house. Right. But you must have... I did not see you at all during this time. Mm -hmm. You must have been... I mean, you were frightening your friends. They were scared, yeah, for, for me. For your safety and people around you. Yeah. 
I mean, I yelled at a guy at 7-Eleven. I yelled What'd at you a yell guy at him? another. He was, He's a jerk? Yeah, he was like scared. He was like a panhandler bugging some girl. I go, hey, stop, you know, stop bugging. I filmed it. Stop bugging her. Stop, this is, stop being a jerk. You scared her. Fuck you. I was cursing and stuff. And then... The guy's homeless, you know, he's blind from syphilis, right. and now Brody Stevens <laughs> yelling is yelling at him. at him, going, why don't you watch me on Chelsea lately? He goes, because I don't know what television is. I'm yeah. insane. And I could, I could relate with him at that point. Right. And then another guy, I went to another 7-Eleven, and I saw him. I approached this guy, like a young guy like my age. I go, hey, are you on Twitter? <laughs> and I go, he goes, yeah. I go, Let me, can I do you a favor? I mean, can you do me a favor? I'll buy you whatever you want if you say that Brody Stevens just bought me beer. Like, he's a nice guy. He's not crazy. And that, like, freaked him out that I did that. I followed him in the store, and he says, okay, I'll do it. I go, get whatever you want. You want beer? You want this? Get something else. I got money. Get it. And then he, like, flipped out on me. He goes, oh, you're being too much. You're, you're being too, uh, you're, you're too, uh, leave me alone. I go, I'm buying you beer. All you got to do is tweet it. And he, like, flipped out. And then I left the store, and then I went to the Angel game. I was going to the Angel so game. So there's three night. separate places where you flip out on a member of society. It's something that you started. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like you were minding your own business, and you're like, bro, your balls are in my face. This isn't cool. You walk into a place and go, like your Dodger hat, and the guy goes, excuse me, I'm one He's a jerk. Yeah. What a dick barista to call the cops for somebody saying the word jerk in your precious fucking coffee place. Yeah, well, he called the cops, and... Cops love coffee. Do the math. Conspiracy. Masons. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. I'm laughing. It's funny. No, it's fun to do you. You're also a guy that uh, people always imitate you. Like Barry Katz. Nobody comes away from him without going, hey, boss. Hey, boss. Yeah. Everyone does a Barry Katz. So What happened at the Angels game? Um, I went down. I was fine at the Angel game. I was a little... Um, a little, I had a field pass, and I was a little, I was a little pushy. I was hanging out by the angel dugout, and the security was saying like, "You gotta, you can't hang out here." And I was saying like, "I'm here all the, I'm here all the time. You know me." He goes, "Well, the game's about to start, and you can't hang out here." I go, "Listen, I work for TMZ. You be nice to me." That's what I said. I, I had this whole TMZ thing in my head. You're using the "Do you know who I am?" card, kind of, a, yeah, but with the job that you had as a guest thing, right? Yes. Like, hey, do you know who I work for? I work for TMZ. Like, suddenly you're like a guy from the 50s with a little press pass in his hat. Like, I, don't you know I work for Hearst? Yeah. I'll get a camera down here and I'll follow everybody. Let me on the field, sonny boy. I got some real dirt on your general manager. Yeah. And he's standing as a mistress up in the luxury box. <laughs> so, so then that doesn't end well for you. The Angel game was fine, but... Uh, Not when you're going, hey, I work for TMZ, back off. Right. I mean, I could see that it was like, I work with cockroaches. Leave me alone. I knew enough to get out of there. So I got out of there and watched the game. And then that night, I went to Sarah Silverman's party. And that's where I was kind of like, people saw that I was like being manic and cornering people. And the, some of the comedians liked it, like Robert Smigel or David Cross. But a lot of other people were saying, like, what's with Brody? He's, he's not acting himself. That's when they, then they called the cops the next day. They came to my house my apartment and then I they they left I said why would I want to hurt myself or anybody I'm fine I go I, I just hosted TMZ <laughs> you really love this credit it was just kind of it was just kind of fun to do uh, oh, so even then you were being funny like when you say to the audience like I was on premium blend 2004 now you're doing it to cops why would I hurt myself just hosted TMZ exactly victory lap feeling good yes yes wow that's what I was saying to them and they to be funny what's that to be funny or were you seriously going like was a part of you going like i just fucking hosted tmz bro like i'm not gonna hurt myself i'm i am top shit or were you being funny i was being funny ish it, what's the ish well i wasn't as serious as how you were right there but i oh, wasn't okay. as funny as like i hosted tmz i was more like I hosted TMZ. I was in The Hangover. Why like, would I want to... I like the acting chops there, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I brought it down a notch. I like it. So, um, they left. They, they, you know, it's like, they, they left. They, they, and I actually got in one of the... I, I, one of the cops was like giving me attitude. It was a black cop and a white cop. And the white cop was kind of like giving me a bad attitude. 
And I go up, to, I go, the black couple's like laughing the whole time. I go, can I talk to this guy? He goes, yeah. And I go, I walk up to the cop. I go, why are you being bad energy? You don't like Jewish people? Hey. I said, why don't you take off your belt? Oh, And my. meet me. I go, I work out and we'll fight in the back. Why would you say that? I was manic. <laughs> that, you were not trying to be funny then. Right. You do work out like a crazy person. I did not, not any. I haven't for about a year. I mean, but you can bang out fifteen pull-ups right now. I wouldn't. I'd struggle.